Today I want to talk to you about um, ignoring the people who still stop you from living your own life. And um, it's a trap that I have walked into many a time. So let me know if you can hear me all right. Let me know if it has happened to you. And um, let's go. So a couple of weeks ago, I was really stressed out. I had a lot of things to do. I had a lot of on my plate and all of it had deadlines on it. And as I said, I was completely stressed out. Now, at some point, I was so stressed out that I really needed to think about what I was doing. And I recognized two things. One of them was that nobody was keeping me to those deadlines other than me. And the other one was uh, that, of course, somehow I had taken on too many things. I had put too much on my plate. So, what I came, I'm looking at my notes here too, so excuse me if um, I look down every now and again. But um, what happened was I came to realize that that whole deadline thing is a story that I often tell myself. I have this tendency of um, telling myself that if I don't keep my own deadlines, if I don't do what I said I was going to do, even if I only told it myself, that people are going to be disappointed, people are going to be um, angry. There's a lot, people are going to judge me. There's lots of things going on where I think people will somehow um, have an opinion about whatever it is that I'm doing or perhaps what uh, whatever it is that I'm not doing. And upon thinking this through, I suddenly realized that there was only three people in my life that actually were worried about all those things. Because who are these people that are spending so much time thinking about what it is that I'm doing? And there's only three, like I said, it's me, myself, and I. Nobody else is spending that much time thinking about whatever it is that Gerdy Verwoerd is doing at the moment and whether or not Gerdy Verwoerd is keeping her very own deadlines. Most likely, nobody else but me is thinking about that kind of thing. So, if I'm the one telling myself that story about keeping deadlines and judging myself about whether or not I'm keeping them, then it comes to follow that I can change that story, that I can tell myself a different story. And if I can tell myself a different story, I can also act differently because it's the story that I'm telling myself that has me acting in a certain way. So when I discovered that, I told myself that it was perfectly fine to take some, some things off my plate and stop doing the things that weren't in as important as I might think it were, uh, th at that point. Uh, because they weren't. I was only telling myself that it was that important. I could reschedule them. I could, If other people were involved, I could tell them I was going to reschedule them. And if there was nobody else invo involved, there was no reason to be uh, so stressed out about it. That story that we tell ourselves, it keeps us from doing lots of things. It keeps us, it kept me for a very long time um, from living the life that I want to live. It kept, I was telling myself, people would think I'm crazy. People would think, um, well, crazy was the main one, really. People would uh, be questioning my sanity. People would um, never understand. And why was it so important that other people would understand anyways? Just looking back on it, that's what I ask myself these days. Because when I thought about it, the, like I said, the only people that really, really were concerned with that was I, was me and myself. And those that perhaps were also spending some time thinking on, uh, thinking on that, the only thing they wanted from me was me to be happy. Preferably in, uh, you know, in, in circumstances that were good, but definitely they wanted me to be happy. And if those circumstances were going to be different from the circumstances I was in at the moment, 
then that's what was going to happen. That was that was what was going to be. So I have an important question for you, and that is, what is the story you tell yourself that keeps you from living the uh, living your life the way you want to live it? instead of the life that others want you to live. Because they should be committed to living their own lives and not to telling you, to dictating you how you have to live yours. So, um, let me know if you've just joined, somebody just joined and welcome for that. But um, let me know if there are people in your life that you think are judging you all the time, if those people are really important to you, if they're in, um, their opinions are really important to you, or if, as was, with, was the case with me, if the people that are judging you are um, the ones called you, yourself, or in my case, me, myself, and I. All right, guys, it was brief. But um, it was my first live Facebook live in, in a long time. And uh, uh, my biggest commitment to myself right now was doing this uh, Facebook live again. So hope you enjoyed it. Hope to talk to you again soon. And um, I'm, I've set myself the intention to doing a Facebook live twice a week. So uh, the next one's going to be on Thursday, same time, same place, if all is going as it's as uh, I scheduled it. And if not, it's only me, myself, and I that's telling myself that I have to do this at this particular time. Talk to you guys soon. Bye-bye.